Hi guys, it's Cheyenne. And Jake. And we're here with your Daily Dose for Sunday. This week is 4th of July week! Woohoo! And today we're going to get crafty. We're going to be making some 4th of July pinwheels off of this site that I will put in the description. So if it's hard to follow along with me, you can try and follow along on the site. So, first things first, let's go through the items that we will need to make our pinwheels. First thing you need is construction paper. Ooh. You will also need some scissors. We will also need push pins. And finally, you will need pencils. <laughs> Jake and I are going to have a little competition to see which, which pencil company is better for making pinwheels out of. So I have Dixon Ticonderoga. And I have a paper mate. Yes. So let's get to it. Okay, so you will need two pieces of construction paper. We're using red and blue. Um, so you're going to line them up together like so-ish. And then you are going to fold one corner. Want to help me here, Jake? One corner. Mm -hmm. One corner up so that you can make two squares out of your construction paper. <laughs> And you'll fold it and pinch it, and then you're going to cut off um, the little rectangle that you get on top so that you just have two nice little squares. Um, we were already working on ours, but our camera screwed up, so that's why ours are already kind of half done. But by the time, um, but after you have... Cut off the top rectangle. Okay, yeah, after you've cut off the top rectangle, then it'll be have been folded like this. This is what you'll be left with. And then once you have this, you'll just fold this triangle in half so that you can make your line. And then you're going to unfold it and you'll be left, you'll have um, a square that has lines going in um, to separating it into four pretty equal triangles. So, so once you have that, then you're going to make incisions. <laughs> You're going to cut into each of your foldy lines on your squares so in, they can open up and talk like this. Talk dirty to me. <laughs> okay, and then at this point, if you have a hole puncher, use a hole puncher, but if you don't... Um, you can use your push pin. <laughs> just like we were doing. And you're going to make holes in one corner of each of the triangles, so you'll have a hole here, and a hole here, and a hole here, and a hole here. You should only have one hole on each triangle, so if you have two holes on one triangle, um, you might need to go back and change something. <laughs> <laughs> you might need new paper. <laughs> you, you might need new paper. Okay, so now you're going to take um, the bits with the holes in them, and you're going to put them towards the center, like, and eventually <laughs> they'll all be in the center, like, um... Kind of like this. Yeah, like so. So after gathering all the pieces together, punching it through, and then you punch it through the eraser of your pencil, now you have your finished pinwheel. So thanks for watching. If you made one, let us know how it worked out. <laughs> yeah, that's about it for Happy Fourth of July. Happy Fourth of July. Have fun and be safe. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and most of all, subscribe. I will see you next week. Bye. I'm all alone. There's no one here beside me. Do you like to talk about the scissors and the hole punching part too? No, it's quite alright. This is your channel. Oh, okay. I am just a lowly guest. <laughs> and then, you want to talk about the hole? <laughs> yeah, I don't want to talk about the holes either. <laughs> oh. Oh.